Greetings everyone, I am Selvalis, and welcome to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved on the Stegoland server. So, our twin Diplodocus are grown up, but we have a problem. During the maturing process, one of them appears to have, well, oh, stuck on the neck, ended up inside Viridia's starter base. So, yeah, gonna unfortunately have to leave that one behind for the moment. But uh, we're gonna walk this one home and have a little chat on the way. Oh, is that another red drop? Okay, so I've picked up like four red drops so far today, but I've gotten nothing but crap. Tripwire alarms, bear traps, and blueprints for structures. Blueprints for structures are, well, kind of useless on this server because we have a lot of engram points. Never lacking. And there's only one thing I haven't learned at this point. So... Today's initial plan was to hop onto the Destroyer server and hunt down an awful Mosasaur. I did look on this server, but I've yet to see a Mosasaurus, period. So, I'm not really sure what's up with that. I will continue looking, but... Getting stuck on everything. I just don't think they spawn on the center for some reason. Or if they do, it must be, like, down there under the center center. That's about the only large body of water I haven't given a thorough examination to. All right. So, since we cannot hunt for the Alpha Mosasaurus, and believe me, I am sad about that, I thought, well, what other features are there to play with? The leeches are apparently bugged, so I really don't want to mess around with that. I did end up killing a couple while just flying by and biting the water, kind of fishing for piranhas, but I ended up killing a couple, so I picked up the dossier. They're actually really small. But I don't want to mess with them because of the swamp fever mechanic and the fact that I don't have any antidotes made. It's also potentially contagious, so I don't want to go around infecting everybody. So, today, I have a question for you all. What is the most powerful weapon in Ark? Not dinosaur, weapon. That is a hotly debated topic, as many of them... Do a lot of damage but attack very slowly, while other ones attack very quickly but don't really hurt very much. So today, we are going to test weapon damage. I've built a training dummy, I'm gonna remodel my upper mountain base into kind of a little, tr a little firing range, so that we can have some fun and test out the various weapons I've accumulated. Now some of these are gonna just be primitives, some of these are going to be from blueprints I found, and then there is my Mastercraft Simple Pistol, which I'm very happy to give a test. So, when I bring you back, we'll begin the carnage. Okay, guys, the train, the uh, target range is set up. We have a training dummy right here. It has 400 health, but I'm hoping it'll stay alive. So... First thing I'm going to do is test the various melee weapons on the ser rubber band on the server. So, this is a Mastercraft metal pick. This is a ma journeyman metal hatchet, journeyman pike, just a uh, primitive sword I found. And then we're going to also test my ramshackle sickle because that surprisingly kills you easily. So, I do have my melee damage at 200%. I'm not sure if there's any other settings on the server that are not at base, so let's begin. Let's start. Actually, let's test punching first. How much do I do with a punch? 16 damage, all right. And it doesn't look like it's taking... Oh, you're tell. That's interesting. Oh, hey. Don't tell me I have three damage per second. Okay, let's crank it up. Mastercraft Metal Hatchet. Okay. 159 damage a second. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright. Next up, Journeyman Metal Hatchet. Wait. There's a pretty big difference on these two, but it's telling me I'm doing the same. Okay, uh, Journeyman Pike. Okay, 
Oh, yeah. Definitely better. Okay. Primitive sword. Okay, so I was wondering if the damage difference on my pike would make up for the fact that it's not a sword, but clearly that is not the case, although I was I still carry the pike on me because it has a better range, and most of the time I'm killing something with my own hands, I find it's Mega Piranha, so I'd rather have the safe distance of the pike. And then just for a bonus, my surprise weapon, which has claimed many a tribe member, the Ramshackle Sickle. Didn't catch. 173. Hmm. Okay, and then just one last little test, because I have done this sometimes. Okay. Alright, so I'll bring you back when I've got the next test set up. Okay, now we're going to start up with the primitive ranged weapons. So I've chosen anything that can just be crafted in your inventory or from the smithy. So first we're going to start with bo bow and arrow. This is a primitive bow I got off a of saber tooth. 55 damage. I'm going to see if headshots have a difference. Okay, so there does seem to be some damage resistance as well as effect of rapid fire and I'd like to say I'm a pretty good shot you know but uh, so yeah variable DPS on the bow and headshots I can't really tell if they're a thing or not let's see if I can get any of the arrows back sweet I got them all back I think okay next up this is a Ramshackle shotgun, yeah. So that was pruned to bow. We've got Ramshackle shotgun, Mastercraft simple pistol, Journeyman scoped long neck, Mastercraft crossbow, slingshot. For some reason, we'll not recognize the stone I have, so I might not get to test that one. And then we're also going to test the effects of IEDs and grenades. All right, so shotgun round one to the chest. Whoa. <laughs> I forgot, it does technically a lot of damage. Okay, let's focus on the head. Okay, so headshots really aren't a thing on this. I'm gonna reload, so 132 roughly for one shot. Now let's see what happens if you give them both at once. Boom, doubles. That'll put down almost anyone in survival to the fittest. and almost rivals my sword's DPS output. Okay. Now this one's gonna hurt. Mastercraft, or not Mastercraft. Oh yes, I, I'm right, Mastercraft pistol. So just one more time, 90, 90. So holy shit, this thing hits hard. Okay, full clip, fast as I can fire. 90, that's, it is still behind the shotgun. But a pistol does have a nice range advantage. If I come back all the way in the closet. No. Boom, 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 boom. All hits, all headshots. Still my match DPS. Shotgun. You can see. A lot of misses. So the pistol's probably my best medium ranged option. All right. Things get cleared up a little bit. Scoped rifle. Let's go for a crouch or a laying down headshot or bullseye, not headshot. Bullseye. So. Boom! Whoa! Five hundred. Holy crap! A low overall DPS, but just that's a lot of stopping power. And if I can get two shots off in the time it takes for the DPS meter to come up, damn. Okay, next we got the Mastercraft crossbow. Lower than the bow, but does almost three times the damage. No, over three times the damage. 
Low DPS, though. Shock Griffin. Okay, so... Slingshot is not really working with me right now. It actually lowers the damage of my punch. Okay, so... Next little thing I'm going to try... I'm going to put an IED... Next to it, and then I'm going to explode the IED and see if I can see what the damage is on that. Whoa! 1,762. Finally, something beats my sword. Okay, IEDs and grenades don't have various levels of damage, so... None really to test there. There's... have a grenade. Like, that's still... Landing in pretty much the same spot. There. That's even closer. I want to see if there's a radius effect. There is not a radius effect. Okay, so the smithy weapons are showing quite a lot of promise, especially the stopping power of the long neck and just the sheer versatility of the pistol. So I'll bring you back when we go up to Fabricator. Okay, guys, we have the advanced weaponry, and one thing I found in one of the storage boxes that I thought was worth a whack... It's a wooden club. Only got about one hit left in it, but I figure, eh, let's see what it can do. So it does a whopping 10 damage. That was a primitive wooden club. Alright, so. For our advanced weaponry, we have a primitive assault rifle. A ramshackle fabricated pistol. I have an apprentice one, but this one hits harder. A primitive pump action shotgun. A primitive fabricated sniper rifle, a primitive rocket launcher, and then one of my pride and joys, an ascendant pump action shotgun. Now, if I can get... I really think I can get the... Okay, so this does 236 times damage, so that one's gonna hit like a truck. And then I also have some C4. Okay, so... Let's just see what a one assault rifle round does. Okay, so it's about 47 per. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> 47 damage a second. Now, yep, get the holoscope, and let's give him a full clip. I think we, yeah, uh, I think we got all 40 shots on there. That is some nice damage per Oh, nope, we did miss a couple times. But for the most part, yeah, we got that. Okay, so, assault rifle, very nice. Primitive pistol, or primitive advanced pistol does not hit nearly as hard as my Mastercraft simple pistol, but hey, can't really blame it, it's Mastercraft versus Ramshackle. So, let's give it a full clip, though. Damn, that's some good accuracy. 167. Okay, so... Uh, honestly, I don't remember what the simple pistol was, but I feel like the Mastercraft one will just kind of be better by default. Actually, yeah, let's do the sniper next. So, this is supposed to be the long neck equivalent. It's a, uh, what do you call it? It's semi-automatic, doesn't hit nearly as hard, but it's also primitive. But what it can do is fire eight rounds in really rapid succession. And it comes with a built-in scope. Now you'll notice I've got almost no movement now. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Boom, 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 boom. Respectable DPS and amazing range. All right. Next, we've got the pump-action shotgun. Now, I've holoscoped up this one, but I had limited rounds, so I don't get to do a full clip versus a full clip, but I still get to kind of get a test. So you'll notice... That doesn't hit as hard per thing. If I remember correctly, it was... Wait, maybe it does hit harder per... That's 46 per... 92 damage a second. Hold on, I actually want to get the... Crap, I don't have enough... Uh... Okay, I, I'll have to go back and look at that, but I could have sworn that this actually is hitting with more per shot. Because I've always heard that the advantage of a pump-action shotgun over a 
you know, a primitive shotgun is the speed of fire, because boom, boom. And you actually can get off a bigger burst on the primitive because it's a double barrel. It's just boom, boom. But this can go longer. Now, that was 46 a shot. Let's bring out the Ascendant. Now, I'm going to just hit this with everything I've got right now since I'm on limited shotgun ammo and don't really want to have to craft more. Shotgun ammo is annoyingly expensive. So, boom, 108 per. Holy crap. Oh my god. So if you land the shots, that's that's like some of the highest damage a second I'm going to get. Okay, explosives. So we've got two for the two for the fabricator and I want to be very careful since this is a rocket launcher. I don't want to blow myself up, but I don't really trust the door not to cause any glitches. So and if I blow myself up in there, I take out all my storage, I kill Rhea, and I end up blowing up my respawn point as well. So actually, I'm going to close the door. Okay, so this is a primitive rocket launcher with just a regular old rocket. Holy crap. You, you don't come back from that one. Oh my god. That was... That was something else. I wonder if it deals less damage if I don't have a direct hit because I hit this thing dead on but I didn't actually see an explosion all right so last but not least for the advanced stuff we did I stick myself oh never mind there it is we have c4 also gonna back up I'm a little encumbered the weapons weigh quite a bit Actually, you know what? I do have a... Did I only have the one? Okay, I only have the one C4. I thought I had two, but I may have been wrong. So let's see what C4 does. Ow! So, yeah. A rocket launcher or C4. I mean, maybe in full Ascendant Riot you stand a chance, but as of now... Oh, those are just absolutely done all right so i wanted to kind of share my final thoughts before i do my finale now that i've tested out my weaponry to the best of its extent so melee wise sword is just the best hands down i used a primitive sword and i outdid the best pike on the server hands down not even a contest so if I ever find myself in a melee situation, always going to go for the sword. There is, um, from our mods, we can craft, where is it, crystal. We can craft this crystal sword, which does twice as much damage as just your standard regular metal sword. So that's like getting a Mastercraft sword. And then my treadmate Viridia has an Ascendant sword. I got to play with it a little bit yesterday, so I'll add that clip in here to kind of show you the damage it does to a dodo and a couple of dogs. That thing does 300% and just, you know, undeniably, that's the best blueprint, or not blueprint, best melee weapon, hands down. Just the, the sheer damage output blows everything else out of the water. Now, for close ranged ranged, I know sounds kind of weird. I'm, I'm going to go with the Mastercraft Simple Pistol. That did the most damage in the most amount of time. Wait, am I talking up close? Never mind. Up close, shotgun. Sorry, I was thinking medium range. So yeah, the shotgun. Has pretty good control. Didn't really suffer much recoil. I can just, you know, slap the hollow scope on and boom. Deadly at range. Pretty much unstoppable. This thing just hits like a truck. If I can get up close on this, you saw it. Every single one of the beads deals over 100 weapon damage. You know, a chest full of that. Your armor's gone. You're soon to be gone. Just undeniably the best close range. And the clip isn't too bad either. Now, medium range, that's where we're going to go with the Mastercraft pistol. I know it may seem strange not to go with the assault rifle or even the fabricated sniper rifle, but... I feel that if I scope up 
that simple pistol, it will be unstoppable. Headshot bonuses, armor penetration, it'll it's got it in the bag. Just undeniably the best option. Long range, long neck rifle. Just no doubt about that. Between just even if it was just basics, I feel that the long neck deals the most damage in one hit. It's got the stopping power, so almost every player is just done in that first hit. I don't need the second shot. I don't need high DPS. It's all about that burst stopping power. Explosives. I think the rocket launcher, hands down, is the best. That just hit like a truck. It's got some range on it. Um, now, if you don't have a rocket launcher, because they are heavy and so are the bullets, I'd say for the true explosives... Best bet was probably the grenade. I mean, that hit reasonably well, you know, well over a thousand damage, wrecks your armor, has range, can control it too. You can hold onto a grenade and delay the explosion a little bit, which I think is very helpful versus C4. I mean, you've got to get up on someone just to place, like, you got to get right up in their face, and you got to back up, and you got to blow it up, and just, it's all kinds of a mess. All right, so I've got one last little treat for you guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, make that two treats. I forgot I had this. This is a, what is it? It is a Journeyman Electric Prod. I know that it deals 600-ish topor damage from zapping my poor Anki, but I want to know what does it do to a person. Can this actually hurt, or is it just going to, you know, topor them up? And then I also wanted to point out just how cool this looks. I mean... That is a really badass little lightning effect. And that is just going to ruin somebody's day. Let's, let's, let's try and knock out the dummy. Uh. Alright. So apparently, the cattle prod doesn't do any physical damage. It's pure topor, so it won't go off on the training dummy. That's interesting to know. Now, I know that Cattle Prod can knock out most smaller dinos in one hit. Something I should probably consider for a Gallimimus team. Alright, so I'll be right back with the finale. Alright guys, for the finale we have... A Cannon. I had a lot of metal lying around, so I thought, you know what? What the hell? Let's craft a cannon and let's blast the training dummy with it. So... I've already loaded it, and I've already aimed it. I have another shot on my inventory just in case this misses somehow. And I'm really hoping I don't actually break one of my walls. My garden's right behind that wall, and I do not want to be replacing glass. All right, so let's see what happens when you shoot a training dummy with a cannon. Fire. Whoa! Holy crap! Did that hit twice? Okay. And this thing is indestructible. I could probably somehow get chicken bone up here and bite it and just nothing would happen. But, yeah. You know what? Yeah, let's shoot that again. I didn't make two cannonballs for nothing, and I don't think you can pick these up. Smallish, fire. Yeah, there's no picking up a cannon. So, this is all I'm getting out of this cannon, so I might as well make it count. Fire! Fire! Beautiful. I gotta see. I wonder if I could convince anyone. To, uh, no, no, no. I won't do that. I was gonna see if any tribe members wanted to stand in front of this just to test it out on their armor, but for another day. Alright, so. Thanks everyone for watching. I am Selvalis, and this has been another episode of Ark Survival Evolved on the Stegoland server. I hope you enjoyed watching the video as much as I enjoyed making it. And until next time, farewell.